have a little special type of showcase, you know, a lot of the motherfuckers that I love and some of my favorite artists. The first time I met Rugged Man was in uh, New York, and uh, I was doing a show with Ski Beats, you know, legendary producer for Jay-Z, um, so many other people, and um, I was doing a show, and Rugged Man happened to be there, and he just like, he was like, yo, he just showed me so much love. And I, I didn't know who he was. He's like, I'm Ari. I was like, oh shit, this is Ari. Like, what the fuck are you doing here? You know what I mean? He was just in the club chilling. And um, so that was the first time we met. And that was like 2011, 2012. And then when he put out um, Legends Never Die, I just hit him on Twitter like, yo, man, the album is incredible. Congratulations. And then we just kind of developed like a rapport from then on. And then, you know, we did a record together and came out to Europe. He brought me out to Europe earlier this year. This is my second time. So we just kind of developed a relationship you know, whenever like that. talking about them and then be just being cool in the neighborhood the secret to success in, in in the game is to get the fuck out of your neighborhood and show the world what you got you know uh, a lot of people keep it you know they compete with the low local rappers in their neighborhood oh I'm gonna you know I'm the best in my neighborhood and don't mean shit you know leave your neighborhood and go to California if you're not from there and leave your neighborhood and go to New York leave your neighborhood go to Canada go to Berlin go to Switzerland go to Japan go to the whole world you know and then your neighborhood will come to you <laughs> you know RA is an incredible he he's just a good guy I mean you see people that you meet in the industry that are just like genuinely good people you know what I mean and genuine like I said has a love and a passion for this art form, you know? So anything that's driven by that is gonna be beneficial. I mean, look, it brought somebody like Afro, you know what I mean, taking me on tour. I mean, that's still, I may not be quote unquote signed to the label, but it's family because it's we share the same kind of passion. That's like a, a kindred kind of spirit, you know what I mean? To say like, look, this is what we put first. And that's what I'm I mean, about. My battle history is kinda, if you really like study it and really understand, like I kinda, transcended a lot of different eras you know like um when i first started battling like i guess the very i think i want to say the first battle i probably did was like 2000 or 2001 or something like that um and those were like you know over the beat kind of battles um you know just kind of like freestyling you don't know what you're doing so that was that era and then around 2003 i did the mtv battle which got me a lot of notoriety you know it was on trl and um it got a lot of recognition, but I always was um, always was an artist, like writing songs, and that was always my focus. But I, I just figured, I just found out that I had a knack for battling. I didn't even know I was good at it until I started doing it, and I was like, "Yo, I'm winning these battles, and it's getting me a lot of uh, notoriety and um, recognition." So, I, but I, I, I fell back from it, and then I didn't start battling again until 2009. It was when like the whole grind time kind of internet battles kind of popped up, and that was like a new era. And so, and I was starting a solo career at that point too. I was thinking about it and I was like, yo, battling would be a great way to get my name back known again. And plus I was just intrigued by it. I was inspired by it. I saw all the dudes that were on like the Smack um, DVDs and stuff and they were on the internet now. I saw the grind time battles. I was like, yo, I want, this shit looks fun. Like, you know what I mean? And I know I'm capable of doing it. So I got my, put my feet back in there and got wet. You know what I mean? Got it, got my feet wet again and, um, you know, I had a few battles and it got me a lot of recognition, man. You know, Disaster happened to be one of those battles um, and, you know, Grind Time set him up and it was just it was just a good time, man. It got me a lot of recognition, so I'm very grateful for that. Yes, sir! Oh, you, get murdered in, you get murdered in moderation and fuck the nonsense. Let's get back to the conversation. He said, Locke, how about you and I fly to Dubai? My reply was, dude, why? He said, because all the dudes buy. I said, fuck you, Dubai. <laughs> And it takes a lot to make the kind of records that I want to make and I produce as well so now I started producing it just takes a lot to do that and um, I think I have such a respect for battling that I think it would be a disservice for me if I do it I'm gonna go full on with it you know what I mean I'm gonna do it um, you know I'm gonna put 200% into it and right now I know that my focus is on producing writing arranging and performing records and songs Locksmith is uh, one of the most lyrical rappers and one of the best rappers. And he could do that freestyle stuff, and he could do the battle stuff, and he could do the writing records stuff, and uh, he could do live shows. So he's an all around MC, you know? So, and you know, he's, his uh, 
when he wants to be a battle rapper, he could he could go and and beat the the top battlers. If he wants to do a uh, you know a live stage show, he puts on a great stage show. Uh, if he wants to make a record, he makes a great record. If he wants to go bar for bar with the murderous lyricists, he he goes bar for bar with the murderous lyricists. So um, so all around MC. That's what, what I like about Locke, man. That's why uh, I'm always shouting him out, you know, saying what a good MC he is all around, you know, all around uh, package right there. Real niggas feel me. Bitch niggas love me. I portray the real me. Who could ever expose me? I display anguish and facts. My father paid for my tuition, busting tables. What's more gangs than that? And I'm a paying back, relaying raps, never the slack and laying back. They overlook me in my own region like the Chilean blacks. But I refuse to keep playing in this decaying trap. Now it's to the point I'm reluctant to even say I rap. Pray to avoid the devoid mission, annoy, listen, deploy to employ what I could avoid in the Joyce's kitchen. A young boy with his brother's coy in a poison, this pit exploiting the sins and offended those that rejoice dissing. Listen, his voice was missing, piston was hoisted with it. A violent child that was volatile and employed in Richmond. A mixed half breed that saw his dad grieve, only later to reconcile by cutting the grass when I had weeds. Mm. <laughs>